Martin Schutt made a dream come true and built his own paradise on Earth. Preocupação Se nada nunca tem Me nada nunca tem Pra que tentar magoar Pra que tão preocupação I think my life has developed a tremendous amount of drive I've followed it Let it guide me and have gone with the flow Many ideas have come to me over this time, and when I felt very strongly about a certain idea, I've also had the energy to turn this idea into reality. I find it very important to get the most out of my body. If I were to only compare myself to certain ideals of beauty, I would have to give up on life altogether. Ja, dann hat's wenig Sinn für mich überhaupt noch weiterzuleben. Eigentlich äh, war das eine super Dachterrassenwohnung. I already had a great attic flat back in Ulm, but I wanted to integrate the element of fire and I couldn't get clearance for that. But at some point during our search, I came across the ad Farmstead with Pond. So I drove there straight away. The idea of having a biosphere of my own as a wheelchair user, that idea stuck with me. It also allowed me to be creative. I started developing, spending time at my PC, many hours and nights. I was looking for a way to create something. You could compare it with the work of a sculptor, creating a place to match my needs and live out my inspiration and creativity. Over ten years ago, I was in Constance at an old market garden, and there lived a man who manufactured bricks. He built a kind of clay oven inside an old greenhouse, and he more or less lived there. The simplicity of the idea and the way he lived fascinated me very much. You see, in our temperature zone, you have maybe 20 days of summer when it's warm, if you're lucky, where you can stay outside in the evening at around 18 to 22 degrees Celsius. Well, this greenhouse makes it possible to extend the warm period by up to six months. All the mid-season starting in April, May, you're out here, and from October, November, you're pretty much outside as well. It means you're protected from wind, rain and humidity. You get the feeling of being outdoors while you're actually inside. Now you can see I have to fight my way through my small botanical forest. This is a fig tree. It already bears a lot of fruit, which will soon make good marmalade. This one over here is an olive tree from Sicily. It's probably some 120 to 150 years old. And if you look through there to the other side of the sliding door, you can see our small pond, a small lake. So the element of water is also present. And this magnificent tree, an Australian silver acacia, it was only a small stem when we planted it, and here it is budding again. It will blossom in February or March. And right there at the back is the house within a house, in a Mexican Pueblo style, with rounded wooden beams throughout and clay both inside and out. I knew that if we somehow managed to get it done, to get the construction permit and the financial side worked out, I would go for it. Usually, the building authorities in Germany wouldn't allow you to do that. 
And the same goes for elsewhere. But what counts is that I have my greenhouse on the outside of my main house. They told me that as long as I kept it like that, I could build a round house or an upside down house or three circus tents. On the outside, I still have the greenhouse, but inside I can live out my individuality, creating my own biosphere, a small world of my own, having a climate which allows me to prolong mid-seasons and seasons enormously. Uh, habe ich ein Klima, in dem ich genau diese Übergangszeiten, die Jahreszeiten, die verlängere ich natürlich extrem.